Now, the Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, SMBLF, has criticized the attitude of President Muhammad Buhari's administration on the killings in Southern Kaduna. The forum, in a statement jointly signed by Yinka Odumaki Southwest, Chief Gai Koku Southeast, Senator Basi Henshaw South South, and Dr. Isua Dogo Middle Bet, condemned a statement by the senior special advisor to the president, Garba Sheru, who claims the killings are politically motivated. The group in a statement called on the government to desist from making claims that will further flame the crisis. Joining us live is Reverend Polycap Baja. Thank you very much for joining us. Quickly, the recent reported killings during a 24-hour curfew suggests a, a state of lawlessness, or is this an exaggeration of the state of affairs in Southern Kaduna? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's, it's actually a state of lawlessness because it's also a matter of um, a failure of security. This has gone on for almost a decade right now in the place, and people are killed in their own indigenous communities. That speaks volumes. In the last uh, two weeks, you have had over four or five you know, blatant, blatant attacks on these people. And what you are seeing is a failure of the Nigerian security to, to protect its people, lives and property. And it is so sad that this is happening in the 21st century. The report speak of up to 50 gunmen. Did you see the people that were killed? Did you see the women? Consecutive days, people were being killed. And you can't see the presence of the police and the army to protect the people. And that is really sad. It's a failure of security, which is uh, of, of, of the security architecture. The, the, the president and the, and, the, and the state governor was, was sworn in their, in, their, in their mandate to protect lives and property. And this is what has happened right now. And whatever way you look at it, whatever excuse, whether it is ethnic or religious or even partisan, what you see is a failure of the government to protect its citizens. Uh, Reverend, let, let, me, no let, me, let, let, let me let me let me let me let me. It is ask very unfortunate. It is blatant. Yes. The network is a bit tricky, but uh, we understand um, uh, about fifty gunmen invaded uh, a zip pack. Um, have the perennial ethnic disputes escalated, in your opinion, and why do you think this is? They have been emboldened because there has been no appreciable move. There is no sincere move by the government to stop it. I mean, apart from ZIPAC, you know that um, 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 uh, um, uh, uh, Kogoro uh, in Kukum was attacked. And then you have uh, uh, Goragan, and two days later you are having Zipak. They returned again on Saturday morning after the Friday morning. Where were the security men? Where were the soldiers? There's supposed to be a battalion in Kafanchan. There are police stations everywhere. When 11 people are killed, I mean, you would expect that the security system of Nigeria will move quickly to protect the people in Zipak. 6.30 in the morning on Saturday, they were back again. Where were the security men? You can see a blatant, um, you, you, what you are seeing right now is that, you know, the, 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 the body language of the government emboldens them. Four in a row. In what, what, three what, days. What more? For because sake, that, we've, we've, we've people heard were killed. a lot of persons have called out the governor of Kaduna State over these killings. Um, what more in your yes. thinking would be an appropriate action from the state government to even begin to touch the surface of this uh, situation? First of all, even the narrative, the narrative is wrong. Fulani militia are killing the people, and they just keep on saying that some unnamed gunmen, unknown gunmen are killing them. They call it farmer hardest clash. You can as well say that kidnappings on Kaduna Road is a result of road rage between kidnappers and motorists, or between armed robbers and motorists, there was a quarrel. I mean, it's so, it's, it's, it's so blatant in the body language. First of all, the narrative is wrong. And secondly, the responsible action that government should have taken to own the violence that anybody that attacks any community will see the rage of the government protecting its own citizens. There is no protection. So it has emboldened them all the more to do that. Four days running, they have been attacking the indigenous communities in southern Kaduna. For the, for the they can do a clarity, whole lot Reverend. more. 
Yes. Who are the players in this dispute? Are we dealing with Fulani, Malaysia, or some other rivalry? What, who are the players, the main players, for those that might not have no, been following it's, it's the situation? It is Fulani, Malaysia, number one. And uh, I, I want to take you back to the statement just made by the Southern and Middle Belt Forum, that this is actually politically motivated. There's a pattern in the last six years, if you notice, in Southern Kaduna. It's a pattern of invasion. It's a matter of decimation and occupation of those places. Apart from Southern Kaduna, even in Plateau State, you have 70 communities in a place like, 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 like Plateau State that were taken over and renamed with Fulani names. Then you have in Kaduna, you have in Southern Kaduna.